Oh, finally, now you want to work. I even need a USB the whole time, then. How does it freaking error? So, with the error 34558, five, five, that's what I try to do. And then I freaking did the um, download update file for PS4. I couldn't do this one. This is where you get the copy update. But since I have this error, right, I had to do the reinstall and then delete all my freaking same data, which is stupid. But it, sh it shouldn't because I have the freaking PS Plus. So the freaking, what do you call? Save shit. Um, what am I even talking about? So when you initialize a freaking PS4, they may re go to this. Um, it acts like a brand new PS4. It just resets everything, which I'm trying to figure out because I remember I did this last time, but I was able to get my save shit back because I I went to go online. Um, through what you call it? like the cloud, so you have the backup data and you're online. If you have PS Plus, though, that's the thing, you need a freaking PS Plus for this shit. Alright, good thing I remember my account, so I'm gonna put in my account because I ain't making no freaking new one. <laughs> Everything I buy is in the PS Plus thingy. So let me check my library real quick. Okay, now my games are there. All right, because it doesn't make sense if you don't initialize your PS4, but you purchase everything like online, you know, and you have to rebuy it again. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna sign in with a PlayStation account, with my my original one, of course. Nah, this can't be right. What the heck? I already have an account, so I'm gonna sign in real quick. I got you right now. Alright, moment of truth. I signed in my account. Now I got... Okay, it reset in my Steam. This wasn't my Steam. I don't have the original blue one. So let me see if I still have all my purchase stuff. If you sign into your, like, PlayStation account, you still have all your shit. Like, your games and everything. But my worry is the save data. But since I initialize it, I'm trying to find out if I can, like, still get all that. Do I have to re-download like, every... Oh, my... Are you serious? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Shit. Oh my god, they make it redownload stuff. That's stupid. That's freaking dumb. At least I'm able to get this PS4 on again. So if you are stuck in that, you, uh, where you get in the safe mode loop, where you can't get out of safe mode, right? And if you don't have it, I mean, if you do have a USB, use that, and go to this website, um, and then you need to, like, you need to click this, right? And then, what you gotta do, you gotta make a folder, make sure your USB thing is in the computer, and then you gotta, like, name your folder, capital, Everything capital PS4, and then you click it again, and then you make a new folder again, and then you go to put update capital. And then what you're supposed to do, you download this or this if you have an error. I had to get this one because I have an error, but you can get this one if it works for you. And then we have to do you gotta put it okay, okay, um, you gotta put it. What the heck? Wait, wait, hold on. This folder, oops, oh, freaking camera's blurry, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta put it to this folder. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta put it to this folder. And to this folder, but you gotta do it with the, the USB, like put it in your computer. And yeah, it's supposed to work, if not, then... You gotta freaking do this one, which is the scary one, but you should still have your safe stuff. That's that's the only concern, is your safe data. Um, Like, if you have PS Plus, you should be able to get your safe data on online, if you know what I'm talking about. But, 
If you don't have PS+, <laughs> you're screwed. I'm sorry. But, yeah, I, why is this happening to everybody? Because I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. Ever since this PS5 came out, this PS4 has really been acting up, and it's getting my freaking nerves. It's like, Sony wants you to buy a freaking PS5, but it's too early for that. Like, come on, it hasn't even been a freaking year yet. It's so stupid. Like, the heck? Alright, so I just got my Steam back. I got, I just downloaded it again. See, everything you have in your account, you gotta sign in your account. You still have all your purchased games, so don't worry, like, your games gonna be deleted. You don't have to rebuy them again. Make sure you remember your account, because I'd be having problems where I'd be forgetting. But think I remember, because I made so many accounts. But, yeah, I got my Steam back. Okay, so initializing is the only way I can get this PS4 on, which I did. But, that's scary because, okay, everything, like, you get everything working fine. It's to say data is my concern. That's, that's the only thing I worry about right now. So, I'm going to see if I can get that back. So, I'm going to show you right now. We go to settings. Um, application state data management, right? All right. Freaking PS4 is still slow. It'll still be freezing. All right. Um. Yeah, save data in online storage, man. Save data in the online storage. You can download the same data in your system storage. So everything... Please tell me it's there. Yeah, you see, you still got your, all your safe shit. That's if you don't have a USB, though. You can initialize your PS4 if you can't get your... If you're stuck in a safe mode. Make, um, just initialize your PS4. And then you should be getting this thing working, like... It should definitely be working. But, you know, if you do have a USB, you can always, like, um... Update system software with USB device, you know. But, I'm talking about for people that don't have USB, like, nobody got time to, like... People don't got money, people broke, like... Who, no one can afford that, like, come on, like... It's not fair, you know, people don't have jobs. I'm trying to save y'all, you know, I, I got y'all... With the initialize thing, but I'm gonna download Call of Duty and see if I still got my safe shit. Because if I don't, I'm gonna be you. I'm gonna be pissed off. Me. Oh my god! But let's find out. All right, I had to use LAN cable real quick since things download faster. I'm gonna download Call of. Oh wait, is it ready? Oh no, I have to download it. Of course. This is gonna take forever, yo. You know how Call of Duty be taking mad long to download. I'm gonna download it. I, wait, 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 no, I don't want to download it yet, because I need the... Shit. Oh, I, I gotta cancel it. What the heck? Oh, hang on, wait, let me back out, let me back out. You would, by the way, you ain't gotta download that if you're just playing multiplayer on zombies. Because I don't, I don't play a companion yet. I mean, I haven't, at least, but... Um... Anyways... The first thing I want to do is check your storage. Check my storage. <laughs> And yours too. Um, I'm talking. I'm talking about everybody, not just me. Every okay. This is where okay. See, everything's gone. You see, that's the bullcrap part. But here's the thing, right? Okay, my save data is gone. Everything's gone. All right. But here's the thing, right? I went to application state data management, right? And then I go save data in online storage, but you need PS Plus. That's the thing. Hopefully, I got it. Um. Download to system storage, right? You see, this is the backup, the clout. This is what I was talking about. And then you click whatever game you have, everything saved. Look, everything's here, see? Like, you should be perfectly fine. You're safe. So I'm gonna do Call of Duty. I'm taking this because I'm, I'm not throwing over Call of Duty. I'm not. That is too much work. Okay, now I go to my. Save data in system storage. I mean, go well, and then you go to delete, but you don't want to delete it. Okay, and then okay, let me make this easier for y'all. Okay, since we download a game for application save data management, and we did it from our online storage, right? We're gonna go back, and then we go to storage, and then we're gonna see if it's there. It should be there. Save data sixteen point seventy MB. And there it is, there's a save game, there's save data. But do this before you download it, because if you download it, and then do this last, the PS4 might not read the, 
the save data and then you will have to start over the whole game you don't want to do that but if you guys did that by accident just uninstall the game and then just um get the save data from the online thing and then then you can download the game again if that makes any sense maybe i'll edit the video so i can explain myself a little bit easier you know um so let me download call of duty because i'm not strong all over i literally grind for all these camels and and i actually went through 100 rounds and i have a calling card for doing that i'm not doing 100 rounds again that was too much work it took me seven hours to do that think i have time for that again no I got a life, man. Come on. I just care. I only care about zombies. I don't care about anything else. Just download that. Screw multiplayer. Screw campaign. Alright, sorry about my pit. It freezes some. T Wait, I got to select all of them? No, I only want to download one. I'm spamming the crap out of any freaking- Oh, now you wanna work. Alright, so this is gonna take forever, so I'm gonna just pause the video. But let me see the- Okay, this is- This actually is my first time I pressed the quick menu. Blah, 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 I already know this, so- Okay, I like how they still show your friends list. They're like, you still have all your friends. Like, don't worry about, like, um, having to add them again, because nobody wants to do that. Who wants to do that? Um... Yeah, everything here. Yeah, they act like I'm new, but I'm not. It just resets everything. But if you have PlayStation Plus, you should 100% have your. Sorry, by my hand. Um, but I'm just, I'm just telling you guys with a, a loud voice. You should 100% have all your save data and your PS Plus thing in your account. You should be having that. So I'm, I'm just done. Only taking three minutes. Nah. Oh wait, probably this is why I couldn't. Okay, now I'm just talking to myself. Um, probably why I couldn't play Outbreak because I didn't download everything on Cold War. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna just like cut this out. I don't want y'all to wait for this. Okay, it's done, but we got the whole freaking, you know, the online content. So of course we gotta wait for that. All right, so <clears throat> I just finished downloading Call of Duty. And we gotta see if we still have our saves data. Hopefully this freaking works. I'm not, I'm not freaking starting over. I'm gonna be pissed. I hope not, yo. Yo, I'm freaking scared right now. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Thank God. All right. See ya. There's your proof. So. If you go to your application, save data management, and go through online storage, all your save data is there. That's all you gotta do. I'll show you again. You gotta go to settings, right? You go to application, save data management. I'm just showing you again so you can, like, you know, really understand. Why well, I gotta, I gotta close the app for that? Okay, whatever. Um. And then you go to save data in online storage. Click that one. Wait, shoot. There. And then all the games you have, they're all here. Don't mind my um, dryer on. I know y'all can hear that loud sound. But yeah, that's everything you have. So, I hope this worked out for you guys. I just wanted to make a video for people that are struggling to get out of safe mode. With or without USB. If you don't have USB, just initialize your PS4. I promise you, you will get all your stuff back. Just remember your P PlayStation account. If you don't remember, I suggest you get a USB then. So you won't have to do all that crap. But yeah, um, hope, uh, hope this helped you out.